Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen, and today we have a very interesting task uh, to solve. Uh, this time we are solving a hard problem. Uh, so it's uh, length of the longest valid uh, substring on the lead code. Yeah, it's a hard problem. And this time we will try to solve it uh, in Python. So let's dive in. So what we need to do. So the problem give us a string, so a word string, uh, and an array of forbidden uh, substrings as a list. So our goal is to find the length of the longest valid substring in a given string. Uh, a valid substring is one that doesn't contain any of forbidden substrings. So let's understand it with an example. So for example, our string, let's call it S, will be just C, B, A, 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 uh, B, C. And our forbidden string, so let's call it uh, forbidden will be both uh, A, A, A and uh, C, B. So what is uh, output and the longest uh, valid substring? So uh, yeah, this uh, substring with C, B will be invalid. Same with a substring containing a triple A, but two A and B, C might be. So this is the longest valid substring. So we need to output four because this part doesn't contain any of this substring, so triple A nor uh, CB. So uh, it's valid and we need to output four. So uh, as simple as this. So now that we got the problem statement clear, let's figure out the strategy to solve it. So to solve it, this problem, we need to iterate over the string in reverse order. For each position, we attempt to expand the current substring to the right up to 10 characters and check if it contains any forbidden substring. So firstly, we will convert uh, our forbidden list into a set for a, a faster lookup. So for example, uh, forbidden set. So yeah, let's implement it and I will explain everything right away. So forbidden set for fast lookup will be just set of forbidden list. And what next? Next, the maximum length of the valid substring. So it will be just storing value. So result equals zero. And the end of the valid substring. So the end of the valid substring will be right length of word minus one. So iterate over the word in reverse order. So how we do this? So for left in range len word minus one, minus one, minus one. So it will reverse order and try to expand the current substring to the right up to 10 character. So going from left four key in range left, uh, middle left plus 10 right plus one. So if the current substring is forbidden, move the end of the valid substring to the left. Okay, so if word left plus one in forbidden set for optimization, uh, right equals key minus one. Okay, so break and update the maximum length of the valid substring. So to update result equals max race right minus one left and return result. Okay, so let's uh, check if it's working. 
and explain what we did. So yeah, for a given test case, uh, you see uh, this example we mentioned previously, output is four, so everything uh, is okay. So uh, firstly, we convert uh, our forbidden list into the set for faster lookup. And what we do next? Now we start to iterate over the string. So we start from the end of the string and for each character, we try to expand the substring up to 10 characters to the right. And as we iterate through the substring, if we encounter a substring that is in our forbidden set, we move the end of the valid substring to the left and break the loop. We then update the maximum length of the valid substring. And uh, yep, yeah, uh, here you have it. So this uh, all the logic. So let's submit it and see if it's working for unsynthesis cases as well. Uh, let's run it. So it's running. Yes. And this time, yeah, it's successfully completed. We beat 83% with respect to runtime and 66 with respect to memory. So all good. And as we can see, it passes all test cases. And the key to solving this problem efficiently is to take advantage of the fact that the length of forbidden substring won't exceed 10. Uh, yeah, it's in uh, description. So in statement, so it's really important. Otherwise, we could not use this plus 10. So, uh, and this uh, significantly reduces our time complexity to just about linear ON. And I hope this solution was clear and uh, yeah, uh, beneficial. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share it with your fellow coders. And if you have any question or suggestions, uh, feel free to drop a comment below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to uh, don't miss uh, out future coding videos. And until next time, keep coding and see you in the next one.